Hi, so wanted to show you guys a little something in Apollo that can be pretty powerful, and that's dynamic variables and conditional logic. So this is a little tricky at first, but uh, you can really do a lot with it um, to tailor your messages to the right personas, companies, all sorts of different variables and do it without basically having to set up like tons of different lists and segments and sequences for different personas and things like that. So we do that through some of these dynamic variables. Um, the lit, you know, first name is an obvious one. That's um, the list is here. So everyone probably know, can figure out how to do that. But all these variables too, um, if we go over to the uh, advanced tab, we can do like an if else or if n statement. So what we're going to do here, the example here is we are running um, a program for an accounting software company. And we just have a little message saying, hey, we help thousands of companies like Microsoft, HP, and Boeing with their accounting software needs. Um, and I'm, I'm working with a company like this where they have a message like this. And it's like, you know what, though, if we're going to, we also sell the startups and we might not want to lead with a message about how you know, we help Microsoft and HP because if you're selling to a 200 person startup, their needs are a lot different and it might be a turnoff uh, if that's what you lead with, because then they might think, oh, this software is too expensive, too complex, whatever. So I want to tailor marketing 101, right? We want to tailor the message to the person, the company. So we're going to use some conditional logic to accomplish that. Um, so I'm going to go down to... Uh, these dynamic variables, and I'm going to go down to the bottom one here. So if number field, else, and if. So I'm popping this in here. So the variable we're going to be using is um, company size. So it's company underscore size. And this, again, is right from the list of dynamic variables. This is a basic one. Um, if you scroll down, company size is here. So uh, we can talk about that a little bit later, but so basically what I wanna do is if the company size is um, less than or equal to 200, I'm gonna say, instead of talking about HP and, and Microsoft and whatever else, I'm gonna say, we help thousands of companies, um, or sorry, we help thousands of startups So if the company is less than 200, it's going to show them that. So otherwise, I'm going to grab companies like HP, Microsoft, and Boeing. And I'm going to show that to the, the 200 plus um, group. Sorry, I'm just cleaning this up a little bit. So if you look over on the right now, if this is going to work correctly, um it looks good so this example here is goes to google which obviously is a huge company so we help thousands of companies like microsoft hp and boeing that's correct so we can test it here though let's pick a smaller company so my company SaaS Boost, which helps early stage SaaS startups uh, with apollo and, and outbound sales we are not ten thousand plus employees so I'm going to put myself in here and now you can see the message changed. So now it says we help thousands of startups with their accounting software needs. So it looks great. Obviously I missed a little uh, um, space there. So I'll just add that right there and perfect. So now if we're sending this email to SMBs, it's going to talk about startups. If we're, if we're sending it to anybody else, it's going to talk about um, some of those enterprise brands that we work with. So this is just like a simple example. There's, you know, you can get fairly complex with this. Um, you know, some good ones might that could make sense are like industry might be a good one. Like if you have, let's say, a banking case study, you can throw things in there like, hey, if you're if this person is in the banking uh, industry, let's show them this banking case study. Uh, and even you can do 
um, add custom fields in here. So we have an account uh, personalization field. So if we know, you know, we have maybe we use chat, chat GPT or something to um, grab information. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll pop that in. If not, uh, it won't, we can use this to not even show the message actually. So if this dynamic variable doesn't exist, we'll just show nothing. So there's a, you can chain some of these together too. There's a lot of different, um, things you can do with it, but, uh, that's, this is just kind of a quick, uh, overview and hopefully you find it helpful.